how you get a recording of a video onto your computer. Um, I already recorded the video. I tried to record myself recording it, but of course it messed up and didn't let me. So we already have it here um, in videos. Um, I'm not going to play it or anything, uh, but you'll just see it once I get to it. Um, so again, um, once you're once you have the video recorded and know where it is, then you can uh, just go to the next step. Part of the project where we are wanting to get iExplorer and to view the video and get it onto the computer. All right, so you're going to go into um, Firefox or Internet Explorer or Google. Don't type in Google into Google. You can break the internet, trust me. Uh, you are going to look for I Explorer and just do search. Here it is, I Explorer, iPhone, iPad, music, etc. Download Mac, PC. Let it load. Uh, save file uh, and then run it. I already have it installed, so I'm going to skip this. Double click on the file once it's installed. Um, you have to uh, do an update. I'm just going to do a remind me later. Continue in demo mode. So it brings you up the device here. You're going to go to root. You're going to scroll down to uh, var. And then to mobile. And this is, these are the most important folders that are within the device um, for photos, uh, etc. Applications are here. Uh, documents are usually like downloads and other things like that. But the one that we're going to look for is in library. Uh, then it's dsim. Uh, where is it? <laughs> okay. There it is in media. Yeah, it's in media. DSIM 100 Apple. Depending on how many um, pictures or videos you actually have, uh, it'll be um, a different number. So, it, whatever the newest one might be 101, 102, 103, etc. Um, but since it has a certain number, uh, this one's just 100. Just scroll all the way down. Uh, the video is here. All you have to do, click it, let it load, of course. Click it, drag it, desktop, copying. Oh, there it is. Let's watch it. here, but as you can see, um, they couldn't bring... And that's how you get the video onto the computer. Now you can do multiple things else in here. Any of the pictures, just click, drag on onto the desktop. Uh, what other things that are in here? Um, if you have an iPhone, um, you can get into the uh, SMS feed, which is the uh, text messages feed for any pictures you might have in there. That would be um, under library, and then SMS. And then attachments for any of the attachments. Now these are created into folders which are somewhat weird but in order to grab them out you have to go in each folder or just drag all the folders and then sort through them at a later time. Because the way that when a text comes in and the attachment is saved it kind of just sorts it into a specific folder sometimes. Uh, older messages get have one uh, folder and then <clears throat> newer messages take over that folder so just bear in mind that it's not a perfect uh, system um, also if you have a jailbroken device um, to get videos into VLC uh, you can either just throw them right into the media <clears throat> folder itself or you can um, 
put it wherever your device says it's going to be. Um, I also have, I think, uh, our ROMs folder in here somewhere. Um, I'll only talk about it if I see it. I have to get through all this crap. Uh, there's VLC up there. Um, but again, no ROMs. And recordings here is my screen recorder for the iPhone as well, which is Joe Bogan, um product. So 4.3.2013, that's the one that I probably just made. Um, if I move it here, that's going to give me the whole folder. That's okay. Syncing in one, two, three. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> that's audio, which is the one that I was trying to do. Um, video uh, should be elsewhere. Um, I don't know why. Syncing. It's saving it as a move instead of an M4A. Anyway, uh, that's how you get the videos onto the computer. Thank you.